Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are headed to Freight Unlock in Syracuse, New York. Ed is our guy there. Hi, Ed, how are you? Um, as in typical form, I have beautiful Vulcan blades and sculpted uh, Fat Daddy, some of his favorite, favorite things. These are a few of his favorite things. So again, Freight Unlock in Syracuse, New York. Uh, they are at safeandlockstore.com and they have a physical uh, brick and mortar at 467 Burnett Avenue, um, 315-472-6988. And now let's show you why you have to get in touch with them. All right, we have a single Necromancer uh, fixed blade neck knife. This one's a Digicam Handles. That's cool. I don't think I've seen a Digicam in this small variety. I love the little uh, milled angled lines on it kind of simulates a diver knife. And this is S35VN, you can see on the spine of the blade, the S stamped right there. So that's a Necromancer. Next one on the table, Smooth Criminal. PVD blade, crimson red handles, PVD hardware and clip. And we have a Slim Midi Marauder S35, tumble drop point blade, violet predator handles, standard hardware, and it looks like a blue clip with brushed silver flats. This one I believe is for a special customers of Ed's. It's a Marauder H PVD Tonto Blade S35, and that's the Apocalypse Laser Engrave. It reminds me of Term, um, Terminator. Skulls and kind of an apocalyptic uh, background on there. Bronze handles, brushed and flamed clip with flamed hardware. Second knife. Marauder H, and the thing that our resellers can do is they can request Marauder handles so that the sculpting lays really nicely on there. So you don't see the Reese's on here, but it does have the thinner blade of the Marauder H, and in order to do the stained glass sculpting, we use the Marauder handles, which are the same thickness as Marauder H. They just don't have the recesses, and it can accommodate this. And looks like flamed stained glass on the handle and the spring so these are pen flamed because we don't apply heat on the spring flamed hardware and a brushed and flamed clip then the rest are tff1 and fat daddies these two are tff1s these two are fat daddies i can tell just looking at them because these two have a much uh, thicker stock to them this one here i'm going to call this shark's teeth it's got bronze Hand sculpted shark's teeth on the handles, flamed hardware, S35 Vulcan blade, brushed and flamed clip. A lot of ro I mean just robust orange colors on it with a little bit of green and blue. The next one is our crater sculpting. I mean, wow! There's a lot going on there. That is an expensive process, I will tell you, all done by hand. So blue handles with gold and bronze crater dimples. Bronze hardware, S35, there's that Vulcan blade. Again, you can see blue and gold in there that complement the handles. Oh, and look what he did on the clip. Oh my gosh, he's so stinking cute. Craters right on the darn clip. And then the Fat Daddies, let's take a look here. So 0 0.260 inch blade, 0 0.190 for the TFF1, 0.187 for the handles on the Fat Daddy, and 0.125 on the TFF1. This one here, Vulcan S35, dark brooding colors it kind of looks like the four men of the apocalypse it's just look dark and brooding and bitchin bronze predator handles bronze hardware brushed bronze clip last fat daddy straight up silver stained glass on the handles with bronze hardware and the hardware includes pivots spacers stop pin over travel and that is it. That's all the titanium parts. Brushed and bronze clip. And wow, Ed, I'm so excited. Woohoo! Everybody, keep your eyes peeled for Freight Unlock. See what you can get in your pocket today. Keep watching the videos. And until the next time, peace.